Hey there, welcome back to Ask Amy. I have a question today from Josh. So Josh says, I feel more freedom in knowing that thoughts and feelings move through us like the weather. And I understand that thoughts create feelings and we don't have to linger on them. So let me just say really quick, I would say thoughts are feelings, thoughts and feelings. I mean, I know we like to kind of say one thing creates another thing, but um, just to be a stickler for accuracy here, uh, I'd say it's something closer to thought and feeling are the same thing. Um, okay, so Josh says, and I get that this is about understanding how things work, not necessarily doing anything about it. But is there some sort of threshold where we have the choice to either let a thought pass through when it pops up or to entertain it and let it transform into a more powerful thought and feeling? How do I know when to let it develop further into a feeling versus let it flow by and dismissing it without lingering or transforming it into a more powerful thought and feeling? Is it the difference between a thought feeling and true wisdom? Are we not supposed to take any action? Am I thinking too much about this? <laughs> I love that. So, um, okay, so that's Josh's question. So, hmm, okay, so is there some sort of threshold where we have the choice to either let a thought pass through when it pops up or to entertain it and let it transform into a more powerful thought or feeling? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but it seems like sometimes we, um, it seems like sometimes we have the experience of that. Like, like part of the flow of human experience sometimes feels like, oh, okay, I'm, there's something here. Do I want to, do I want to milk this a little bit and hang out in it? Or do I want to want it to go away? Do I want to ignore it? Or do I want to think about something else? Now, as humans, I think we have the experience sometimes. It feels like, or it seems as if we can make those choices. I don't really see how we actually can. If we could, like why, why can't we sometimes and not other times? I, I, my hunch, like the way it looks to me is like, that's just more thought, you know, more thought. Sometimes thought comes in that says, ooh, here's thought. I have a choice here. Which way you wanna go, right or left? And a lot of times thought comes in and that and it that other thought isn't in there with it. So there is no, oh, I have a choice, right or left, what do you want to do? We're just we're just living in in a sea of thought. So I don't see how any of us have any real control over anything that shows up in our experience. And again, I know that sometimes it feels as if we do. We sort of have the experience like we can all think of something together right now and conjure it up in our minds and all of that. But I think the limits of that control, and I wouldn't even call that control, are, it doesn't, we don't really have any control. It's more, it's more just this illusion of control. I don't, I don't think that we have any real say in what shows up. So Josh, when you ask about kind of this threshold and then how would we, how would we know? How do I know when to let it develop further versus letting it float by and versus dismissing it and all of that? I'm curious why why you would even want to know. Like, why would we, what's behind that for you and for others listening if you have this question? Like, what's behind that? Why would we even want to be able to let some thoughts go and let and hold on to others and play in them and milk them and all of that? What's the point of that? Why? So I know this is just me talking to my computer right now, so I'm not gonna get an answer in this moment, but be curious about that because a lot of times this whole thing of I'm in charge and I'm in control and I can think what I want, and I can shift my own thoughts and feelings, it feels really empowering sometimes from a certain way of seeing things and that's totally fine, totally understandable. But, but why, like, why is it empowering? Why would you even want to do such a thing? What's it going to do for you? Is it going to, is it going to help you avoid feelings you don't like? Is it going to bring things into your life that you do want? I don't know. Again, I'll just share to me, I doesn't, I don't play in that at all. It doesn't look like I have any say in it. It wouldn't even really occur to me to purposely, consciously want to make some go away faster and milk some and keep them around. Now, that said, I think all of us live in live in this to some extent where we we of course we like some thoughts more than others. 
uh, you know, of course, sometimes we love thinking about certain things and we hate thinking about other things. So having those preferences and living in all that, you know, I don't know where it all looks sort of different, that it, that feels very human and very normal and makes a lot of sense. And at the same time, I guess maybe this is just part of not believing we do have any control. I think it's really big, to, really great to see this in a bigger way and to see why would I muck around in more of this and less of that rather than just seeing, wow, I'm none of this. All of this thought that moves through me, it doesn't inherently mean anything. It's not mine. It's not me. It, it's nothing bad's going to happen if bad thought shows up and I don't feel great. And nothing wonderful is going to happen if nice thought shows up and I do feel great. All of that is just part of life. All of it is part of this revolving flow of, of experience that's constantly changing. And there's, no, these are just words, but I feel like there's a bigger place to be. There's a deeper place to sort of sit from where this is all experience. It's like saying, I'm super mad that the leaves on my tree right here haven't changed yet. When a lot of the other trees in my neighborhood are changing, their leaves are changing color for fall. Why hasn't that leaf right there, the one right outside my window, why hasn't that one changed? Now, if I'm super identified with this tree and it means something about me and my life is better when the leaves have changed, I'm, I might have that conversation. I don't really care. It can do what it needs to do. It'll change eventually. It'll look beautiful, but I'm not going to stress over it. So see if you can kind of feel that as it pertains to us as human beings and our experience. Meaning when our experience looks very important, when we're very identified with it, with our mind and our thoughts and our feelings, and we really want some and more and less of others, we're going to, we're going to ask these, we're going to want to control things. And, and sometimes when we're, when we're a little more zoomed out and we're none of it, and it's all just moving through and it's all okay, none of it means anything about us. We have a different, our sights are set in a different place. You know, we feel like we're sitting in a different place a more zoomed out place and it, and it doesn't much matter what moves through. And if we don't know what to do, like, oh, do I pay attention to this or not? Well, that's a big sign that you don't need to know. If we don't know, we know we're in our heads just thinking about something that, that we clearly don't need. We don't need to know in that moment. So I hope that helps, Josh. Are we not supposed to take any action? There's no supposed to. Who would, who's the judge of supposed to? I mean, we humans seem pretty designed for action. There's a lot of action taken. Wonderful. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing right with that. It just is, it's just what appears to happen a lot. There's a lot of action is taken. A lot of thoughts are thunk and a lot of feelings are felt and it, and it all comes up and comes to life and then moves on through. And I think there's a ton of freedom in sort of seeing it that way rather than wanting to get in there and steer it the way that we're sort of conditioned to. So thanks so much, Josh, for sending your question. I really hope this uh, helps clarify or simplify something. Please let me know. And I hope it's helpful for others. Let me know uh, what questions you have. You can send them to askamy at the little school big um, You can send questions about anything at all, and I'll be back here every Monday to speak to them. So have a great week, everyone. I'll see you next Monday.